Good morning, Derek Lee here with Brain for America and time spent with the Word, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. We thank you, Father God, that you are taking us from faith to faith, glory to glory, strength to strength, my God, in the powerful name of Jesus, wealth to wealth, for the upbuilding of your kingdom here on earth. Holy Spirit of truth, as we come praying for America, we're asking right now the revelation shall be released even as we pray over this country because we say today your kingdom come your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven in Jesus Christ most holy name amen the book of uh, Psalms 20 and I want to read verse number four and the scripture says may he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed and that is what we're going to pray over america today that the lord will grant us our heart's desires what is our heart's desire for this country our heart's desire is to see righteousness prevail across this nation our heart's desire is to see the will of god done in this country our heart's desire is to see god my god reference in this country our heart's desire is to see so saved by the thousands upon thousands, if not millions upon millions in the mighty name of Jesus. Our heart's desire is for us to do the great exploits that the Bible talks about. Our heart's desire is to see justice served in the mighty name of Jesus. Our heart's desire is to see the love of God shed abroad across this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Our heart's desire is to see leadership in the White House, leadership in the Supreme Court, leadership Leadership in the Capitol building, not afraid, not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but ushering in the presence of the Holy Ghost right now in Jesus' name and praying, preparing the nation, my God, for the return of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Not only that, but bringing the nation, leading the nation in national prayer, not just a one day of prayer, my God. Mm. Ooh, glory to God. Not just that one day in the month of May where there is a day of national prayer, a day of prayer for the nation. No. Well, we have leaders that are not ashamed to say, we are calling, my God, America to pray. It doesn't matter the time of day, my God, and the type of day. We are going to pray before we speak. We're going to pray before we execute. We're going to pray. I mean, on the world stage, my God. The nations of the world will see that the God in heaven, my God, is the God of the USA. He is the God of the national, oh my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the national leaders and the God of the nations of the world, because he is not an American God. He is not a European God. He is not an African God. He is not an Asian God. Come on, somebody. He is God of all gods, King of all kings and Lord of all lords. And it's in this God that we we say in this country, in God we trust. It is this God that we say in this nation, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. He will give us our heart's desire and he will grant us success. Now let's pray. Mm -mm. Woo! Father, I thank you. I praise you and I bless your holy name. As we pray for America today, right now, Father, I cover this land with the precious poured out blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm asking you, Father God, that your perfect will will be done in this nation. Father God, in the politics, let your will be done. In the churches, let your will be done. Help us even as the body of Christ, God, to align ourselves with your word, Father God, the stand on the word of God and put you back in remembrance of your word because it is your word that you have placed above your name and it is your word that you will back up, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we come asking because you said ask and it shall be given. We come seeking, you say seek and we will find. We come knocking, you said knock and the door shall be open unto us. So Father, we believe your word. We stand firm on your word on today, asking that your will be done in America, seeking that righteousness would exalt the nation and sin shall be a reproach to his people because when the righteous rule, the people are happy. And therefore we come, oh God, seeking that you will give us righteous leaders. We come knocking on the door, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the door of justice, that your justice, God, will be served in this country and that all will see and know that you are God and beside you there is no other. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the anointed one in his anointing, I pray unto today. 
today. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, amen. Well, we're going to go forth and have a beautiful day on today. And no devil in hell is permitted to touch us. Why? Because we are still covered, protected by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And when the enemy sees the blood, he has to skip over us. We will not stop praying for this country. Yes, we pray in secret. We pray publicly as well. Because the Lord's will must be done in America. Because if my people, come on, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, he says, and turn from the wicked ways. He says, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal the land. And boy, oh boy, this land needs the healing touch of God. And my God, we believe that it can be done because America shall be saved. But until the next time, put on the whole arm of God, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Have a fabulous day. Shalom.